This is Julia from Mountain Sentiments and I'm about to make my soap for the Universal Soap Challenge. My country for this month is Hungary. And I kept muddling around ideas. Um, I was going to make a cold process soap. But I discovered some interesting facts about Hungary being one, it's like the spa capital of the world because of its natural um, heated lakes and uh, springs. So they have numerous bathhouses still there um, today. Um, spa type soap. And I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, as you can see, I have two crock pots here with melted oils. I'm fixing to get started. This is going to make one soap. Um, I've never done this before, but... Um, I'm essentially making two different kinds of soap and I'm going to put them both together before I mold them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started and this first pot I'm putting in some colloidal oatmeal, one tablespoon, and then I'm going to add clay to my other pot of oils over here, one tablespoon. And this is red rasool clay. And it has some, uh, it has of course the, the cleansing properties, but also moisturizing properties as well. And then too, because I was thinking about making a soap and coloring it with paprika, um, I I decided against that, and so we'll just say that that red rasool clay is, uh, or Moroccan clay, if you want to call it Moroccan clay, is going to represent the uh, paprika. Also, in this soap batch, um, I read some things about rose hips being very popular they make everything from fruits jellies jams wines um, and uh, cosmetic purposes purpose uses of uh, rose hip whether it be their essential oils um, their pressed oils using rose hips um, also teas well what i did was i made some rose hip tea Organic um, rose hip tea, and uh, that's what I'm using for my liquid. Okay, I'm going to voice over the rest of this because um, I wanted to speed this little video along. Um, I'm just mixing the uh, colloidal oatmeal with my oils right now. Um, I do have safety glasses on and I recommend everybody to wear their safety gear when they're making soap. Um, I don't have any gloves on, however, um, that's just me. I don't recommend that at all. Um, lie can burn you. Right now I just um, put in the, uh, the tea and lye mixture into my soap and this is that first batch um, I'm having to tilt the pan because I don't have a lot of soap in there um, because it's actually one batch split into two different crock pots and this crock pot happens to be pretty big Okay, I'm now getting ready to um, mix up the uh, the clay soap, and again, I am using the same kind of mixture for the lye, which is, you know, the rose hip tea. And 
my batch is a lie, I also put Tessa silk as well, which um, just gives the soap a um, silky feel. Um, that is the uh, the colloidal oatmeal rose hip tea mixture, and um, the color actually turned out really, really good. The clay is a, a little bit more of a brick red hue. Right now, I'm adding the jojoba oil into both batches and mixing those in really well. Before I add my essential oils, I had essentially been letting the soap mixture cool down because I didn't want the essential oils to flash off. And there goes my essential oils. In the rosehip and colloidal oatmeal batch, I put um, it was uh, geranium and lavender essential oil and the clay mixture is just tea tree oil. Now what I'm doing is putting the clay mixture on top of the other mixture. I'm going to kind of swirl it in the pot there before I mold it. I have a PVC pipe um, that I'm going to mold it into so they're going to be round bars. I went ahead and did this voiceover because I didn't want y'all to hear me banging and banging and banging. And uh, I just start talking and not making any sense at all when I'm doing stuff like that. So um, I figured I'd go ahead and voice over this and kind of cut it short instead of you just listening to me bang on the counter and hear my rambling talk. Although it probably would have been quite funny. Once I get this into the mold and um, packed down, I'm going to let it cool off and then um, you'll see me unmold it and cut it. Uh, wish me luck. I hope it turns out well. Okay, everyone. Um, here it is. I'm actually very super happy at how this turned out. Um, it looks marbled but it feels very, very nice. Uh, I guess I cut and see what it looks like on the inside. piece is going to be mine. I shaved it off it. Not complaining. <laughs> okay, that's what it looks like on the inside. Rosehip tea does make kind of a pink or mauve type hue, but it seemed to have turned out really, really well. And that was the look I was going for.